Hi, this is Tim from the Nintendo Blogger, and I'm here with a quick video of Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed. So I thought I'd just uh, show you a bit of footage from this one, and uh, just going to do a quick sort of look at um, the options that are available, and um, we'll have a quick race. Now, obviously, this is on the uh, Wii U. It looks pretty similar to other versions. So I've actually got the uh, PlayStation Vita version as well, and it does look pretty similar. Um, I'm actually probably going to do a kind of head-to-head -head with those two at some point in the next couple of weeks, just to uh, compare them both and uh, see what they look uh, look like rather together. So that's just the uh, beginning cutscene. We're just going to have a quick look, like I said, at some of the options available. So just wait for this one to load, and then we should be there into the main menu. So career, we've got world tour. Grand Prix, Time Attack, Single Race, Pretty self explanatory. And obviously, oh, I haven't got, I think I must be logged in as Kieran there because I've got no Nintendo available. Custom game, you've got local party play and online. And um, options, control options, display options, credits, etc. What I'm going to do is quickly change over what I find to be a bit tricky for me, which is the inverted flight. So I've done that. And, um, oh hang on, I better double check. Yep, yep, okay. Invert stance, okay. So, just going to have a quick look Select now in some gameplay. So there's a fair few options available, as you can see. Career. And, uh, Plays really well. We'll just have a single race. Who are we going to be? Uh, let's go choose track. And go for the Dragoon one. Or Dragon one. Dragon Canyon. And we'll go Metal Sonic. So you've got different types of options with your character select with the handling, etc. So we'll just go normal to start with, see how it handles. Then you get a bonus chance to start yourself off in the game with a boost or not. And obviously as you collect coins throughout the game, just means you can uh, collect some goodies before you start. So I am just uh, waiting for it to kick in. Uh, Metal Sonic, by the way, is, um, is downloadable on the uh, Vita as well, but it doesn't come automatically in so this is of course this stage from Panzer Dragoon, which is obviously a classic Sega Saturn game, or Sega or Sega Saturn game, and uh, it's a shoot 'em up riding on dragons. So here we go, and I will do my best. I've been playing it a bit on the Vita, and uh, there is some on the latest Vita Games channel, uh, which is just dedicated to the Vita. And I've been doing a fair amount of failure, unfortunately. Um, it's, pr oh, it's pretty... Well, let's see how it handles together, so... Just finding it with the... Uh, I'm using the actual control pad. It's okay at the moment. I'm just not the greatest drifter ever. And I'm not kind of... Uh, going the opposite way. You should obviously go the opposite way. So you drift to some degree to get a perfect one. And... Uh, goodness, okay. So I'm just trying to remember if I'm thinking I'm on medium level. So third at the moment. Let's try and keep it something decent. First, second or third would be okay. First would be better. Let's just see if we can get round. Oh, we're in first at the moment. What's going on? Oh hang on. We're in second. Okay. Didn't last long. Metal Sonic looks pretty cool actually. And uh must actually remember to uh, get him uh, downloaded onto my Vita version. So here we go to lap two. Just gonna try and get this drifting right. Uh, doing pretty brilliant at the moment. Uh, I that. I was doing okay, second, and I've been taking down one to third. And I've got a bit of catching up to do. Ah, oh, fourth, here we go. It starts going a bit wrong in the middle. It's one of these strange power ups now where 
Okay, this is part of the transformed. We're into uh, a hydro style jet ski boat. And uh, looks pretty cool. So the graphics uh, look pretty cool. And uh, like I said, it looks similar to the uh, Vita version. That suffers a little bit from slowdown and a bit glitchy. Now I'm told the uh, Wii U version is a little bit similar. It's got a few glitches and graphical errors in places and a little bit of slowdown here and there. So it's not the fastest racer out. Um, but it certainly handles okay. And uh, I'm finding it a little bit easier to control because obviously, I think mainly because I'm, I'm in, I've got some light in the ring. Usually when I video on the Vita, I've obviously got it in the dark, but this is uh, quite nice on the Wii U. And it's pretty comfortable, so here we go. Yeah, well, all stars to uh, get me into a decent place, hopefully. Second at the moment, keep on track. Okay, so. need to kind of hold it steady so I can uh, just try and oh dear I'm getting a bit careful what on earth am I doing now come on feel like oh gone down to third now need to keep it steady through there through there oh left 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 okay oh, I should have gone under there and oh my goodness I'm slacking now into fourth Whoops, that's not clever. Come on, let's get through this canyon bit. Ugh. Okay, so back on track, we're on into fourth. I need to do some major catch up, and I've not got long left. So let's put on past one. Can we get second? It's not long left, it's looking pretty unlikely. Oh. Never mind, so finish second, that's not bad, that's not bad, and uh, I'll leave it there. I'll bring you some more very soon, and this has been Tim, with Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed at the Nintendo Blogger. Thanks for watching.